People need to know that, uh, you know, maybe in their neck of the woods, things look quiet, maybe not exciting, maybe depressing. This is exciting, what you're doing. This is an opportunity for people to reach the world for Jesus. I, I, I think that in America, we can forget how hungry people are around the world for truth. And so what Iran Alive is doing is, you know, it's God's work, but it's, a, it's doing God's work in a way that is also very exciting. I mean, this is, this is not normal to have this open window. And I just thank God that you're taking advantage of it and that people are helping you to, to reach people. The hunger is huge. And if you can feed it, that's, that's the greatest thing in the world. Iran Alive is a good investment from a kingdom standpoint, because first of all, the Lord is already moving in Iran in an amazing way, right? With or without us, God is doing amazing things in Iran. What I love about Iran Alive is that it comes alongside what God is already doing, the massive harvest that is taking place in Iran. And Iran Alive is fueling that harvest. So remember, Jesus asks us to pray to the Lord of the harvest, to hurl forth laborers, right? That's our job. We get to fuel that labor. And Iran Alive is such a, it's a broad brush in that it's accessible to many, right? So it's not just bringing people out of Islam or, or, or out of unbelief into Christianity, but it's also great for those that have already committed their lives to Christ and it disciples them, right? Jesus didn't say, go and make converts of all nations. He said, go and make disciples. And Iran Alive is doing just that with a focus on Iran. And that's why I choose to invest with Iran Alive. And this ministry is the most careful and beautiful expression of Christ's love, which is for all people, and especially for the Elamites and um, the Parsis and the Midians. They, they, they are the first who heard the message on, on Pentecost. Yeah.